Morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Lisa Hernandez. The Securities and Exchange Commission says Crypto FX LLC used a Ponzi scheme to get nearly $12 million from people in our area. KBRC 2's Rowan Belogan joining us live from the federal courthouse downtown with what victims are saying about this. Rowan? Lisa, Andy, good morning. Some of these families are distraught because they lo are losing out on a lot of money right before the holidays trying to learn about crypto. We're not going to allow a few people take advantage of our community and to damage our brand. We are good people. We came here to work. We are hardworking families, and they are not alone. And this is why we have chosen to be here in front of the cameras. KPRC2 investigates Amy Davis started looking into the organization in late November. Our investigate teams visited the building where the company Crypto FX LLC reportedly held classes on the door, a QR code pointing people to the Securities and Exchange Commission filing, noting a civil case against the organization. These classes apparently cost attendees between $500 and $1,500 to participate. The SEC says the founders of Crypto FX LLC use glossy video share online and by word of mouth to gain more members at its schools. The company built itself as a learning academy teaching investors how to manage the cryptocurrency world. The agency said the classes were intended to teach investors how to open crypto wallets. Instead, the complaint said the owners created, quotes, an illusion that investors had achieved significant trading returns. But instead, the SEC states the founders were moving money around and made Ponzi payments and used the money enriching themselves. Quotes, instead of actually using investor funds to purchase and trade crypto or foreign exchange assets. Chavez has misappropriated the majority of investor money to fund his unrelated real estate company and his extravagant lifestyle, maintaining the illusion of crypto FX's prosperity. The uh, the director of VL, Houston, said that yesterday some of the co-founders held a Zoom meeting telling some of the victims not to attend today show or to show up using their fear against them of calling the police if they showed up. Instead, many of them were out here speaking out. Reporting live downtown, Robon Blogan, KPRC, 2 News.